Hello, hello, and welcome back. Yes, new video, new topic, new excitement. What are we talking about today? Today, we'll be talking about uh, one of the buildings, actually the newest building on the farm, and what we have done with it, how we've redecorated it and made it into a very cute little guest cottage. All right, Lisa. I'm, uh, I'm wondering why we are cleaning out the guest cottages on probably the darkest day of the year and the coldest, <laughs> or not coldest, but the wettest. It, it doesn't seem like wet. that time. Well, here's the thing. I would love for us to come here in the spring after we kind of have wrapped our projects in California. We come back here and the guest cottages are all like cleaned out. It, I mean, it's just a bunch of old stuff right now. Some are beautiful, some is just crap. And I would love to wipe it all down so it's like whatever's left in there is like quality things, beautiful things, clean things. So we have more of like a clean slate uh, when spring comes because we'll be having guests like very soon. <laughs> Let's start with uh, rosmarin. Okay. You want to start? It's taking so long. Okay, go to it. Go. <laughs> we quickly realized that we we're gonna have to name the different buildings and like guest rooms um, and we had this idea that of course it needs to be something herbal or you know something plant based so we're like let's just name them all lovely medicinal herbs and uh, what's so cool is that when we got in here we um, saw that they left some gorgeous like botanical drawing some are like um original and some are beautiful prints but we're so stoked because that was already kind of the vision that we that we had for the for the spot so we're like what did i don't know what the f is this oh my god is it a dead mouse or something uh, i don't know it looks like a finger or like, or old banana. I don't know. I don't want to investigate <laughs> that. Can you? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure what this is, babe. Yeah. I food? Don't... Old food? Old banana? <sighs> I don't know. It's gross. That is true. It is gross. Um, I I just lifted this thing and I think I found the headquarters for the moths. It's gross. It's funny. I'm gonna get the vacuum cleaner now. I'm gonna vacuum the shit out of this place. So I think we need to do one more. You scared uh. you scared me. Sorry, I got scared. I mean, I'm okay normally, but that kind of sprung up on me. The amount of shit. Yeah, there's a lot of them there. They're, they were just everywhere. And, um, yeah, and they're not like poisonous and they don't, but they were everywhere. And it was gross because every time, like if I opened a window, it was just all in the cracks and there were so many. So this is just pieced out for a second. Um, let me set this down, see if that's better. Everything is really, really lovely here. We got very, very lucky uh, with how much the previous owners cared about this place. However, that said, it's been a while, like years and years since anyone has spent significant time here. When we cleaned out Rosemary and there were uh, magazines from like the 90s in there and stuff like that so mm. that kind of tells you it's yeah uh, 
it had been a while. Yeah. And so because of that, things start happening like insects get, you know, in and make their little homes in places that they wouldn't if there were people there all the time. So with a good scrub down and some TLC and constant checking, we should be able to get all that stuff under control, no problem. Bye everyone. Oh. <laughs> Can you go get the screwdriver? We need to take the curtains down. Sure. They're gonna keep them. They're going down. Did you see all of that? <laughs> They're going. <laughs> You got your mask on now? Yeah. I wish I was gonna use this, but it's not. Where's my tool that I need? Mean? to reach them up here. Are Wait. you vacuuming the walls though? I, I am going to. I'm doing, now I'm doing windows and all the frames and now it goes the walls and last the floors. So once we had cleaned everything out, everything was in great condition. It's really nice hardwood floors. Uh, the walls are really lovely. It's all good. It's windows. All good. Great windows. It's an insulated building. Yeah, so we were, I mean, we're super pleased and we knew that already from, from when we bought the property and first viewed it. Um, so it was, a, it was a thorough clean of everything. And once that was done, we were like, wow, well, this is great. We didn't put one splash of paint. It looks gorgeous in there. Yep. Uh, what we had to do was like get new... Uh, beds like the mattresses and yeah. all the bedding of course is all new like really nice white mm -hmm. linen and um, Yeah, some like new kind of little bedside lamps and Everything else was furniture from the property. So we cleaned all that up really well Decorated the house. We have two single beds in there, but that can be pushed together to have a, a king size and that's that's because we want the flexibility of being able to have you know two friends come and stay yeah. or have a couple come yeah. and stay. And then we also, uh, where there was once just like a drawer, we made that into like a tiny little kitchen corner. So it has a small fridge, it also has a, a kettle, like a tea kettle, it has an espresso machine, there's a small table and two chairs. So it has a gorgeous front porch with uh, with slanted uh, roof above so even if it's raining or a little like a little cold and chilly you can kind of like sit up on those two benches and snuggle up with a blanket and the view is actually out over woods but then it's out over a field we're super stoked how that came out it was an easy uh, easy fix because nothing really had to be done except like thorough thorough cleaning mm -hmm. of everything mm -hmm. uh, which was gross, but um, and then just refresh like bedding right. and the mattresses. So all in all, I think we spent like six, seven, seven hundred bucks. Yeah, something like that. I mean, we we bought the mattresses and the bedding, and everything else came from the property. Yeah, yeah. It's always fun when it's like a fast. Yeah, <laughs> when you see results so fast. fast. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Um, please leave any questions or comments you have uh, down below we will respond to as many of them as possible we're always excited to hear what you guys have to say about our videos and also about our projects that we're doing here that we're so excited about we love that you're following along if you want to help make more videos like this possible you can also head over to our new patreon that lauren just set up for us we'd love to see you there uh thanks for hanging with us this time and uh following along on the journey of uh, renovating this beautiful farm in sweden indeed <laughs>